Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of A and B that satisfy these two exponential equations simultaneously. And to solve this problem, we are going to start with this first equation. Now, on the left-hand side, we have 2 to the power 2A plus 2 divided by B. And this is equal to 5 to the power 3. Because, of course, you know that 125 is equal to 5 cubed. Now, to get rid of this fraction in the exponent on the left-hand side, let us raise both sides of this equation to power b. Because remember that when we have a situation like this, to get rid of this bracket, all we have to do is to multiply these two powers. And of course, when we multiply this by this, this is going to cancel that, leaving us with 2 to the power 2a plus 2 is equal to 5 cubed to the power b. But now, also, remember that when we have two powers like this, we can switch their places. So, ultimately, this is going to be equal to 2 to the power 2a plus 2 is equal to 5 to the power b cubed. Now, let us go over to the second equation. Here, we have 5 to the power b over a. And this is equal to 2 squared because, of course, 4 is equal to 2 squared. Once more, to get rid of this fraction in the exponent, let us raise both sides of this equation to power a. Of course, this is going to cancel that, leaving us with 5 raised to power b is equal to 2 to power 2a. Now, let us come back to this equation. You can see that here we have 5 raised to power b. And now here we have 5 raised to power b. So to finish solving this equation, what we now have to do is that we will substitute 2 to the power 2a for 5 to the power b in this first equation. And when we do that, this becomes 2 to the power 2a plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power 2a cubed. Now, when we open this bracket, we have that 2 to the power 2a plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power 2 times 3 is 6. So this is 6a. Now that we have the same basis, that is 2, on both sides of the equation, we can equate the exponents. So we have that this is equal to this. 2a plus 2 is equal to 6a. When we subtract 2a from both sides of this equation, we have that 2 is equal to 6a minus 2a. 2 is equal to 6a minus 2a is 4a. And dividing both sides of this equation by 4, we have that a is equal to 2 over 4. And of course, this is equal to half. So now we have found that the value of a is equal to half. So to find the value of b, we come back to this equation. We have that 2 to the power 2 times half, because now a is equal to half, is equal to 5 to the power b. 2 times half is 1. So we have that 2 is equal to 5 to the power b. Now, to find the value of b, we have to take log of both sides of this equation. So we have that log 2 is equal to log 5 to the power b. And of course, we have to apply the power rule of logarithms to this right-hand side. That is the rule that says that we can bring down this exponent to the front of this log term to become a multiplier. When we do that, we have that log 2 is equal to b times log 5. And of course, to find the value of b, we simply divide both sides of this equation by log 5. So we have that log 2 over 
log 5 is equal to b. Now, when we apply the change of base formula to this equation, we have that b is equal to log to base 5 of 2. So now we have the values of a and b that satisfy these two equations. The next thing we are going to do is to check these values. Now, when we substitute these two values into the first equation, we have 2 to the power 2 times half plus 2 divided by log to base 5 of 2. 2 times half is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So this is 2 to the power 3 multiplied by 1 over log to base 5 of 2. But now let us remember that 1 over log to base a of b is equal to log to base b of a. So this is equal to 2 to the power 3 multiplied by log to base 2 of 5. And of course, you know that we can switch the places of these two powers. When we do that, this is equal to 2 to the power log to base 2 of 5 multiplied by 3. And of course, we know that a to the power log to base a of b is equal to b. So 2 to the power log to base 2 of 5 is simply equal to 5. So here we have 5 to the power 3, which of course is equal to 125, which is what we have on the right hand side. And when we substitute these two values into the second equation, we have 5 to the power b is log to base 5 of 2 multiplied by 1 over a. 1 over 1 over 2 is equal to 2. So this is multiplied by 2. Now here we have 5 to the power log to base 5 of 2. And according to this log identity, 5 to the power log to base 5 of 2 is simply equal to 2. So this is 2 to the power 2, which is equal to 4, which is exactly what we have on the right hand side. So these values of A and B actually satisfy the original simultaneous equations. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.